Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul. Yes, and not only is it a haul, but it's a MAC haul. I love MAC, and I especially love MAC when they are offering 20% off. Now I'm military, so I had the awesome opportunity to go to Dillard's and I think only through Dillard's, not through MAC, um, to go there and get 20% off. So of course I couldn't pass up the opportunity. So let me show you what I picked up. The first thing I got is a blush, and this color is amazing. I first heard about this, I believe it was from Melissa Raymond, here on YouTube. And of course, all these YouTubers, that I have purchased so much because of them, so I blame it on them. But this first color, I, I love it. It is an absolute must-have, especially for the fall and winter. And it is called Breath of Plum. Oh, it is just this absolutely beautiful shade of plum so creamy and this is a sheer tone so this is a buildable blush you can build it up to be a little bit more intense if you'd like just a really really gorgeous plum shade this looks so pretty in the winter time um the girl tried it on me yesterday and i was like yep i need that one put it in my basket Next, um, this was influenced by Mrs. Lola, Lola Lynn here on YouTube as well. Um, I didn't know that they, MAC had come out with some colored prolong wear paint pots, and I don't own any of their paint pots. So this is my first paint pot experience and purchase, and oh, I love this color. I got this color because I absolutely love the mauve shade in the Lorac Pro palette, which uh, Mrs. Lola Lynn, uh, she also loves that as well. And so this is the color. It is called Stormy Pink. And in my viewfinder here, it looks like it's showing up gray, but it is indeed not. These are super, super creamy. It is like a, ooh, it's really pretty. It's actually not pink at all. It's like a dusty, purpley, lavender shade. And I think that's going to look so beautiful with the... Lorac Pro Palette, but also just on its own all over your lid. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Love that. Then I wandered over to the eyeshadows, and I've only bought one MAC eyeshadow. And there's a lot of shades I'd like to own, but I can't justify purchasing another brown or matte shade of something that I probably already own. So I was looking for some just really unique, fun, beautiful colors. And this is what I found. I found Stars and Rockets, which is, oh my gosh, it's like this beautiful iridescent purpley pink color. I just thought this would just be so much fun to play with. Look at that. It's like absolutely stunning. It's like a purple in one light, but then it's like pink, but it has like this iridescence to it. Almost like a, not iridescence, but what's the word? Hmm... I don't know. I can't think of the word right now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. And to pair with that, I picked up Parfait Amour, which is another stunning shade of like a purpley blue color. And here it is swatched. I mean, they had so many colors I could have purchased, but you gotta start somewhere. So... It's kind of a crazy swatch I just made, but it's like this purpley shade. Oh, just gorgeous. So much fun. That one also has like a iridescent, almost like neon maybe? Maybe that's the word. I don't know. Next is I picked up a lipstick, and this is a Viva Glam lipstick, my first Viva Glam purchase. Um, and I got Viva Glam 5, which looks like this. Doesn't look like much in the tube, but let me tell you something. It is a beautiful. It has a little bit of it. What can is this? A, oh, it's a luster formula. So it's like one of those sheer ones. But look at that. That is like gorgeous. Like it's a, like a rosy shade, but it has a little bit of like gl not glitter, but like sparkly kind of to it. I don't know. It's stunning, and it's going to be one of those everyday wearable, easy, throw-in-your-lips type of lipsticks and go. And then the last thing I picked up is a, another lipstick, and this one I 
saw on um, Beauty Buzz Hub. She hauled this not too long ago, and I actually, I, I got the name wrong. It's called Fabby. So I walk up to the lady, and I'm like, do you have the lipstick called Flabby? And she, like, looks at me like, you mean Fabby? I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean Fabby. Because, I mean, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> Silly things you do, you know? You think you hear it one way, and it's wrong, and they probably shouldn't name a lipstick called Flabby anyways, because I don't, nobody would probably want to purchase it. Anyways, long story short, it's a gorgeous color. It's actually really similar to uh, the Viva Glam 5, but more pink. And I, I don't know, I tend to gravitate towards like these type of shades for every day, any time, any look type of color. And so, I love these lipsticks. They smell great. They're like vanilla, like vanilla extract or something in them. And they wear really well. So... That's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it and a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.